This is the Retro Gamer OG. I'm over here at Any Heaven in SGC 2014. We were Nick Billings. He's a programmer for We Slay Monsters. Uh, it's coming out of uh, from the group uh, Furacy Inactive. So, Nick, I I played this for a little bit, and the game itself, I I, I put it I I was putting it set when I think about it, it it's like a turn-based Diablo but with cards. <laughs> I it's it's a dungeon crawler. Give us your give us the quick overview of the game. All right. So, as you said, it is a turn-based dungeon crawler with um, card-based combat mechanics. Basically, you make your best poker hand to do more damage and more interesting effects to enemies, and um, and basically your your game is to upgrade your academy. So you run an academy for dungeoneering, and you send out your heroes on their final exam to clear a dungeon. And they bring back money and improve your academy, and you continuously send out more heroes. Um, well, let's see the game uh, the game start up, because there's different classes, right? There are different classes. Um, right now, what we have playable is the wizard. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see how the wizard works, and then also with the game. Uh, because, I, like I said, I played it a bit, and you, when you get the five cards, you're like, ooh, let, you know, I'm hoping for a three of a kind. So, so here we'll see the overview of the map. Um, over here is your academy. You can go here to upgrade your wizard tower and um, other buildings. Um, I guess we can go ahead and upgrade the wizard tower once. And, and when you upgrade, uh, that leads to... Uh, your well, the students being stronger, having better equipment, and so on. That is correct. You'll add more abilities to your characters. You'll add um, better stats and better starting equipment. So let's go back, and we will start a dungeon here. So dungeons are randomized, and um, the character appearances are also randomized. They also have a random starting perk. Um, you you mentioned Diablo before. We played a lot of Diablo, and definitely there's some influence there. Yeah. All right, so we'll select this guy. Now, why why poker? I, I know I know card games are, are getting they're becoming a big deal. It's the collectibles are huge in the mobile market, but why 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 integrate the actual poker mechanic to it? Well, um, it's kind of our, the way that we kind of design games is we take forever. This has been in the making for a while, and, and we have a really bad habit of layering in more and more mechanics and things like that. And, and we, we pared it down a little bit to try to get it finished, and um, we just thought poker would be a really cool and fun mechanic. You, you know, people are going to get addicted just for that, right? Um, we hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, see a bit of the gameplay. Now, you're, you're basically, with your character, you're going one step at a time through the dungeon. That's correct. It is turn-based. Um, it You take a movement, and all the other monsters on the screen take a movement. Um, sometimes when there's a lot of monsters, it may take a little bit longer. That's part of our tuning that we're doing right now in the beta stage. And we see already we're dealt five hands, got a pair of threes, uh, eight, four, seven. Actually, we got right there, well, I was going to say an inside straight, but no, that's not an inside straight. Uh, oh. <laughs> almost. With the, the pairs, so the dynamics with the pairs and the three of a kind, what is that? How does that change what the cards do? Well, um, so each deck has six suits numbered one through nine. Um, just like poker, you can make pairs, three of a kind, two pairs, and, and whatever with the numbers. With the, with the suits, we will allow um, a flush with just three cards instead of requiring five cards to make a flush. And so each suit also has a different ability, and matching a flush will make um, a more powerful version of that ability with a little bit more interesting effects. Whereas... Higher numbers will give you more damage, and matching um, pairs and three of a kinds or whatever will also increase the damage done. Okay. Well, let's see uh, if you could take down one of these guys with uh, the pair of threes. All right. Okay. And uh, 
moving along here. Now, while you're moving, all the monsters in the uh, in the dungeon are moving as well, right? That is correct. Okay, and that makes it to where. Well, it, when it comes down to it, you're going through the the dungeon, and is there sort of an end boss to the dungeon, or is it really just a matter of grab as much gold and equipment as you can, get out, and then do it again? There is a boss to the dungeon. You you complete a dungeon by defeating the boss and looting him. So I just brought up the map. Um, it shows where all the enemies in the dungeon are. Um, the green squares are enemies that are lower level than you. The yellow squares are enemies that are the same level as you. And the red squares are enemies that are more, higher level than you. This aqua colored square in the corner is the boss. And... Um, and really, you only need to defeat him to finish a dungeon, but um, he's pretty tough, so you probably want to kill a few monsters before getting there. You want to make a few runs until everything's a little bit easier, and then you take down the boss. That is correct. Okay. Right. Let's see how uh, combat with the enemy, uh, the enemies are. Okay. And uh, over here, there's our, uh, some of the weaker enemies, right? That is correct. So in this room, we've got a level 1 rat, a level 2 sheep, and a level 2 goat. Um, the first set of monsters that, that are unlocked for the player are what we consider evil barnyard animals. Okay. And um, basically, they've, they've turned against the locals, and it is up to you to, to clear them out of these dungeons. Um, as you play more and complete more dungeons, it will unlock more difficult and more different kinds of enemies. Alright. Let's uh, see, take down the evil goats. So all the other monsters just aggro to you, right? That is correct. When you see the red explosion kind of around their face, um, it means that they saw you and they are aggro to you. Now, what do you do? Alright, so like you said earlier, we had we almost have a straight. Um, we could try to go for the straight, but Let's just see what a pair of threes does. Okay. So, by selecting the two threes, um, it's showing that I'm going to do 15 points of damage to either the sheep or this goat. Um, it, enemies that you can hit with this with this attack will um, be will have their damage highlighted here. So, it, well, let's take out that goat. All right. So that green orb gives you a shield. Um, so now I've got a shield that will absorb some damage. Um, now we've got a pair of fours, but I'm actually going to try to save the lightning bolts up so that I can show you a flush. So we'll start with this um, seven. And the icon here changed from a number to a skull, meaning that I'm going to do enough damage to kill the goat. And it's gone, but the other one started attacking. That's correct. So I've, I've now got a bowling ball. Bowling balls, their ability is to stun the enemy. So I'll drop a bowling ball on this sheep, and it will be stunned, but um, this rat is still attacking. So now we've got um, three lightning bolts. I'm going to take a step back so they so that I don't have um, two enemies attack me at once. I'm getting low on health. And normally a lightning bolt will hit one enemy, but with a flush of three, it will hit two enemies. So it like kind of like a chain lightning effect. So I'll fire at the rat here, which will also chain to that sheep which exploded. So it took it out. So you could have taken out the enemies one at a time with the card, but the fact that you hold on, held on to certain cards, uh, you're able to take a, take two of them out at the same time because you had the flush. That is correct. So one of the strategies that um, people can have are either holding on to cards a little bit longer to see if they can make better hands and um, doing more damage. Um, early on, it may not be that big of a deal, but um, some of the higher level enemies you probably want to do like at least three of a kind or something like that. 
All right. And now, when is the? Uh, do you have a? You guys said you're working on this for a while. So, uh, do you have a release date on when this? Uh, we may see this. We are aiming for this fall. Um, we are actually on Steam Greenlight right now. Um, you can vote for us there, and we're also available for purchase as early access on itch.io. Um, purchasing it there, it's $4.99, and it will get you the Steam key if we get on Steam, an iOS key when we're on the App Store, and the soundtrack. Okay, so this is going to be on PC and, St- and uh, Steam. I mean, PC and Steam. I'm an idiot. It's going to be on Steam and iOS. That is correct. Steam, PC, and Mac, um, and iOS. Okay. All right, Nick. Well, it looks interesting. We Slay Monsters. You can find that, uh, like you said, on Steam Greenlight. And thank you very much for showing off the game. Thank you.